Well, we were early to the protest. It was only just the four of us. It was cold outside. We wait for others to arrive. It's when a man started yelling at us. He started yelling and a screaming at us. Well, this happens at every protest. You don't engage, that's the guideline. But when I looked in his eyes, the pain that I saw, it looked just like mine. Oh, his pain, it looked just like mine. Mm -hmm. So I walked right up to him. He was pelting me with words. I said the shout and stop, then we can talk. Of course, this only made the shouting worse. Oh, I only made the shouting worse. But I really, truly wanted to talk with him to find some common ground in pain. But when I told him this, he got these balled up fists and was a fire of unquenchable rage. All his pain just came out as rage. By this time, more had arrived. More juice for a ceasefire. We all started a shout, cease fire now. It was a shouting match with this guy. He walked away shouting up at the sky. Oh, mm -hmm. All around the world, it's like this. Jews shouting at each other, oh no. The feelings we feel are equally real. The shared trauma that lives in our bones. That lives deep in our bones. Oh. Mm -hmm. But then we lit the menorahs. Recited prayers and the songs were sung. We chanted and said that never again means never again for anyone. Means never again for anyone. Never again for anyone. Never again for anyone. Means never again for anyone.